wear it today, Eleanor? I am not a model, I am not famous, and I'm currently wearing a bin bag. And this is the story of how I snuck onto London Fashion Week's runway wearing literal trash. Fashion is a load of bollocks. You can wear just about anything nowadays and call yourself a model. And I am going to prove this theory by attempting to sneak into the most prestigious fashion event in the world using this bin bag. I mean, what could go wrong? I thought London Fashion Week was next week. Uh, it's on right now. And I'm on the opposite side of the country. So I booked my train ticket right away in order to make it to the last show tomorrow night. London baby. Now that night I met up with two YouTubers called Zach and Matt and a few years ago they managed to sneak in as fake models. Get someone who can be your fake paparazzi to start the hype. Act like you belong as if you've done it a hundred times you know exactly what you're doing. Now obviously a garbage bag is a lot more extreme but I have more faith that I can do this now. So the next morning I met up with my friend Steph to commence phase one of the plan by somehow making a bin bag look stylish. Please don't try this at home and suffocate yourself. I'm just stupid. Is it working? Uh. <laughs> 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 <Transforming>. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you go outside, yeah, and the wind just blows you away. I don't know if this is gonna work. So I did a bit of DIY work and tried to make this bin bag a little more trendy. Oh. You know what, yeah, why does it actually look good? Now, no good outfit is complete without accessories. 20 pound boots from Primark, a 10 pound bag from New Look, and of course, extra Tesco bin bags. Bro, you can score a football through these boots. <laughs> and finally, my catwalk look was finished. And I tell you what, I make one sexy bin bag. Now, before the show starts, it's time to head to the streets and see what the public think of my incredible style. <laughs> it's a bin bag. This looks dreadful. You don't think I'll win a fashion show? I don't think you should even enter. <laughs> so with that extra confidence boost, step one of the plan was complete. Oh, there's one last thing that needs to be put on this outfit. And so the pollution piece was born. Now time to commence phase two of the plan, sneaking into the location. Every single year it's held at this building, 180 Strand, so it's time we head over there. Boys, this can either go one of two ways. It goes absolutely amazing, or I end up in prison tonight. And on the way there, I found another great accessory for my outfit. So we might have accidentally come to the wrong location. Um, this doesn't look like a fashion show. And after speaking to the guy at the front desk, he told me that this year, for security reasons, it moved to a different location. Thanks, Zach and Max. And it gets a whole lot worse. The only way that you can get the address to the show is if you have a physical invitation. And how do you get one of those? Well, you have to be rich or famous. So make sure you subscribe so I can be both. But for right now, things just got a whole lot harder. The show's almost over. Uh, and I have no idea where it is. I spent the next hour ringing around every event space in London and even travelled to some myself to check if there was any shows on, but we had no luck. So for the next few hours in desperation, I rang around every single designer attending London Fashion Week. So I'm attending the uh, fashion show later today. But because my name wasn't on the list, no one would give me the secret location. So phase two of the plan was failing terribly. There's no way we can sneak into this event if we can't even find the location until one of the designers called me back. Are you a guest or a photographer? Or? Uh, yes, yes, a guest. Do you have a physical invitation? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so you're going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you have a physical invitation. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> He's an idiot. It's in an hour. So we raced across London rush hour, desperately trying to make it to this show in time. Using my friend as a fake photographer, we managed to get the attention of other paparazzi. It was working, guys. Everyone wanted a photo of my bin bag. And then this journalist asked for an interview with me. Uh, so it is made out of a bin bag. Then celebrity after celebrity started showing up to this event and I was getting paparazzied with them. My fake fashion statement was working. Going into the line. And before I knew it, I was all alone in my bin bag, surrounded by prestigious fashion gurus. So close. And as everyone was showing their invites, I had no idea what I was going to say until this happened. Everyone with tickets, please. We need to get you in. The show's about to start. The guy literally just let me walk in. So obviously they loved my bin bag until I was met by another security member. So I just copied what this woman in front of me said. I am standing. You're standing as well? Okay. I was in guys. I had no idea where to go or what to do. So I decided to make a friend and it didn't go too well. Why are you wearing this? Uh, for the environment. This is plastic, you know that? Yes, yes. Is plastic good for environment? No. And 
as I started to piss off the other models, I attempted to keep a low profile, which is pretty difficult when you're stood opposite A-list guests wearing a bin bag. But then this woman invited us to front row seats because two guests hadn't shown up. And it turns out this woman is the editor of Vogue. Yeah, that's right. Fucking Vogue. And as we all patiently waited for the show to start, I was getting some judgmental looks. Yeah, that's right. Keep staring. The moment we've all been waiting for. Phase three. I had successfully snuck into London Fashion Week and I was literally sat on the catwalk wearing my bin bag. And I could have easily got up and crashed the runway. But I didn't want to embarrass these girls with my style. I mean, look at that outfit. What is this? London Fashion Week or my grandma's closet. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, what are you doing, man? Every single video, we're going bigger and better, guys.